What's up? What's going on? Doing a quick shout out to my boys at Ranch Nation. Frank in Arizona gave me this cool hat. It's keeping my noggin warm uh, on today's art talk because uh, it's a little chilly outside. It's a little nippy. Let me uh, frame everything. Looks pretty good. Hope you guys are uh, having a good morning this morning. I don't have any coffee, but I have my water with me today. Mm. Uh, Got to keep the old throat moist while we move forward. Powell, uh, good morning. You are the first uh, person in today for our talk. Let me get some things organized here before we get started. I uh, hope your morning is going well. I hope you're having a spectacular time. Uh, Cheryl, good morning. Uh, thanks for joining me on our talk today. De La Vega, uh, we are hanging out today. Edmonds here. Who else we got? That's four. We're rocking. We're rocking. Moving on. Uh, I don't know if you guys are actually waiting for this to happen or if it just kind of kind of shows up. Luisito, uh, great name. Let me know where you're from, man. Uh, you got you guys got some amazing names. Uh, uh, my name is Fireball, and I'm in Malibu, California. Uh, it is about 8 o'clock, which is why this is Art Talk at 8. Good morning, Tim Miller. Good morning. Uh, thanks for watching us today. Uh, this is Art Talk at 8, and I'm your host, Fireball. Uh, this show on Facebook Live, uh, it gets redistributed on YouTube and everywhere else. But live uh, on Facebook, I chose to do it here because it allows you guys to ask questions and to get in on the action, get in on what it is that we're talking about each subject. This is episode 7. This is episode seven. Uh, we are booking along. Dave, Brad, good morning, everybody. Brad from Canada. Dennis is here. You guys are you guys are raring to go. You guys uh, want to have a good day today, I'm assuming. You want to have a spectacular day. And that's what we're about. We're about setting you guys up uh, creatively. As creative people, we are human beings. Uh, in case you're wondering, you know, you, know, you could be an alien too. I don't, I'm not really sure. Uh, Jim says, uh, Jim uh, just joined us. Jim Ayers, top of the morning. Uh, Tim, hope you're having an awesome day, says... Uh, Brad, good morning. Uh, Fireball says, Dennis, good morning, guys. Uh, Mark Green is here from Cars. Yeah, uh, yeah, this is cool. We're going to have a great time. Once again, a shout out to my friends, although it's backwards, uh, at Wrench Nation. You guys want to check out their podcast. Uh, really great stuff, wrenchnation.tv, if I'm not mistaken. Not a paid sponsorship, nothing. It's just because they're cool. They're I love, love these guys. Uh, today's topic on Art Talk. Um, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about... Uh, the importance of keeping your word in business, the importance of as a creative person, uh, as a uh, as human beings, we are naturally creative. It's what we do. We take uh, ideas and we turn them into things like this pen. Okay, I have an idea for a pen. So I'm going to design this pen. I'm going to make it. I'm going to create it. And then and then I'm selling it to you guys, you know, to the world. Uh, good morning, Lance. Uh, Mark says, showing here in Gig Harbor. Excellent. Good morning. Liz is here. Good to go, Liz. I hope you have your coffee or your tea or whatever it is that you like to drink in the morning. Uh, today's topic, keeping your word, the importance of keeping your word. Uh, this is Art Talk. And um, I gave it this subject because I am I have been an artist since I was you know, it popped out of the womb, I guess. Uh, good morning, Robert. And, um, uh, but as an artist, uh, you know, an art is a very uh, broad subject. You can be very artistic in a lot of different ways from painting to sculpting to building, uh, uh, to uh, uh, building businesses, lots of stuff. But as a creative being, as a, a creative person, let me adjust this, um, we are all creative, naturally creative. Anybody, I just fell off my chair. Uh, uh, we are naturally creative. It's what we do. It's it's our condition as a human being is that you pop on this planet and then you got to think of something to do because there's lots of stuff going on and in order to get around from country to country or state to state or you know you got to build up a, a life and the the key is to come up with a to solve that creative solution uh, um, as a human being in a way that you enjoy. You know it's a way to live your life so that you enjoy it and you can eliminate a lot of the toxicity and the, the things that aren't working for you in your life, whether it's people or conditions. So you don't have enough money, a way to make money. If you don't have a good relationship, a way to improve your relationships. And uh, today's subject on here on Art Talk, uh, episode seven at eight o'clock, is that uh, the importance of keeping your word in, in business and in relationships and things like that, because uh, that is definitely a toxic, uh, uh, destructive way to go about doing your business. Now, the thing is that it's not necessarily a black and white situation because there are times when you um, you want to keep your word 
and you consider yourself an honest person. Uh, hold on a second. It's really hot in here. I need to turn this down here. Yeah, suddenly I'm burning up because I, oh, I got flame on my chest. It's, it's hot. So you want to keep your word. It's important to keep your word, but sometimes you got to change things. And you know, you, you tell somebody you're going to be there at 11, and then you can't make it 11. Now, this is not the stuff I'm talking about. Uh, there are things and life gets in the way and uh, challenging. Good morning, Dale. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, Brandon. Um, uh, it it's, can be tough to, to keep your word because uh, life throws you curveballs. It throws you conditions and challenges to try and figure out how to best solve a problem. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about uh, the type of people that, uh, that feel they can cut corners a little bit to get somewhere faster or that they can manipulate or there's a way to... Uh, I'm talking about you guys dealing with people that don't necessarily always keep their word. They're a little flaky, right? That's the term we use. They're a little bit flaky. You invite someone out to dinner or you're going to go meet somebody somewhere and they don't show up, and it happened once, uh, no, not a big deal. I can deal with that, you know, people happening once. Uh, that's really my own, only my only pet peeve is people that say one thing and then do something else. Now, like I said, if that happens once, it's not a big deal. Things happen, life, com you know, life continues on. It happens twice, you go like, uh, okay, you know, I'm, I'm willing to do it a third time. I'm willing to do it a third time, but that's okay. But if it happens three times, four times in a row, uh, you want to begin to eliminate that toxicity out of your life because it's important for you to stay focused. And, and keeping your word and doing what you say is about authenticity. Uh, if I tell you guys I'm going to be here at 8 to do art talk at 8, I'm not going to show up art talk at 9 or art talk at 8.30. You know, I'm going to do my best consistently for you guys to give you something that's going to juice you, get you going, get you excited about the day because the day is what you make it. It's what you decide it's going to be, not what anyone else says, uh, not what the last phone call you just got off of. Uh, if someone, uh, if you just got fired or got let go or, or you're going through something as a challenge, you get what you focus on and that's what you guys got to get for today. So... What's important is for you to focus on something that makes you feel good. And after this art talk, I hope you go into the gym and go work out. I hope you go make a juice. I hope you go do something that makes you feel good, even if it's have a donut. If you want to have a donut and that makes you feel good, you should go have a donut, you know. Although you're probably not going to feel good about an hour later, but, you know, that's just me. But whatever it is that you want to do in life, this is your life. And you have about, maybe if you're lucky, you have about 100 years, you know. So you don't want to waste it. You want to get busy today. You want to extrapolate. You want to do as much as you can to make this day the most that it can be. Okay, uh, Liz, I don't know why you're laughing, but I'm all for it. Whatever's good. Okay, so let's keep on going here. Uh, we talk about keeping your word, doing what you say, authenticity. Uh, just as a quick side note, if this is something of value to you guys and you're, you're here watching and you, you guys enjoy this, I appreciate that you share it because we want to to uh, help people in, in as many ways as we can. We want people to, to get this. You know, people are struggling. People are having a hard time nowadays with the uh, um, everything from economy to, to politics to a lot of different things. Uh, like I said, you get what you focus on. So uh, uh, not everybody realizes that you have a choice to focus on what you want to. So, oh, the donut joke. Yes, the donut joke. I got you. Uh, Jim Ayer says, good advice. You've already motivated me for, for today. Uh, I hope I, I, that makes me feel very good, Jim. Um, you guys are motivating me by just being here, and that's important, is that if you have something important that's going on in your life, um, the, the key to getting through a lot of that is to stop thinking about yourself and start figuring out a way to help others, okay? Uh, I can't stress that enough. If, if, if there's a way for you to do a podcast, a video blog, uh, a uh, phone call, something where you stop thinking about yourself, good morning, MC Ken Vellis joined us today. Uh, uh, what's up, Ken? Uh, Gerald Claude Felter. Cool name. I like it. Uh, good morning, Gerald. Thanks for joining me. Oh, there's birds flying around outside. Very nice. It's going to be a spectacular day, but the day is what you make it. You have to get out there. You have to choose. You have to choose wisely. It's important that, that you get this because, and the sooner you get this, the sooner you work this muscle and you realize that life is a choice, then you can begin to choose the things that you want and, uh, and things start to get better and can get better. You have to believe that, though. Uh, let's see. Um, an aspect of success, something that's very important, um, is uh, 
is your work ethic, your work ethic. And, and part of that, which is today's subject, keeping your word, uh, your work ethic, um, how you go about work, your, your amount, the amount of time that you spend working, um, you got to make it gobs, man. You got to make it epic. Uh, you know, in your past, you know, your, your life is the assemblage of everything you've done previously to this moment. And if you haven't achieved the things that you want, uh, it's because you haven't really broken out of that, that slipstream, that, that, that mode of, of continuing to do the same things, or, uh, and you have an opportunity today. You have an opportunity to, to do something different, to do something extraordinary, to do something that's out of the box of your normal thinking. And what I like to do is make a list of maybe 10 things that I haven't done before. 10 things that, that could break me out of that, uh, 10 things that, that would really push the envelopes. Like, uh, you know, we, as I mentioned uh, many times uh, previously, and you guys know, we have a coloring book company. We create the world's best automotive and sea life coloring books. And I believe that. I believe that they're the world's best because I've seen what's out there. And it's, it's not that good. It's not that good. So we wanted to create something extraordinary for you guys. And uh, in doing that, I tried to write down ideas for coloring books that are are truly different than anything else that, that has ever been out there. And we just came out with one not too long ago. It's the shark coloring book, and it's an educational book. And I don't remember the last time I saw a, a shark coloring book that was educational. But, you know, we wanted to be able to do something different with this book. So we took, we ordered 20 copies. We got 20 copies, and we sent it, 20 copies out to 20 different conservatories around the globe. And uh, uh, just, just, you know, close your eyes, put an envelope, put a little letter saying, hey, I know you guys love sharks. I know this is what you're into and you're trying to conserve the planet and, uh, and help in this way. Here's a coloring book. And by doing that, suddenly things start to come back. Things start to come back. You know, uh, uh, Instagram posts and responses and thank yous. And, and you, you made somebody's day. You put a smile on somebody's face. Uh, it, you got to get this. If you have the ability to create something, and to give something. Uh, let me use uh, MC Ken Vela as an example. Uh, Ken is an extraordinary builder. If you should check him out at Wicked Customs, uh, he was uh, working on a, a checker wagon for the Murphy Museum. Uh, we work a lot with the Murphy Museum, drive a lot of their cars. If you watch today's vlog, uh, which got posted earlier, uh, there's some vintage trucks that we shot from the museum. That's where the Fireball Gallery is happening. That's where Muscles and Mojo is happening, the Cars and Coffee. But uh, every now and then, uh, David New, who runs the museum, uh, grabs Ken and says, hey, we need to rebuild this kind of, this car, do some things, you know. But Ken is not a normal builder. He's not a normal builder. What he does is that he does everything that's on the list that's required, but then he always does something extra, always takes it a step further, always goes ballistic, goes crazy, does something really cool. So when he brings it back, you always want to give more than is expected. Always give more than is expected. And um, in keeping your word, you know, when, when someone comes to me and says, hey, I want to do this, and I say, sure, let's do that, and uh, and maybe we put a deal together that's a list of, of all the things that we're going to do, and that's in the contract, or that's in the in the um, uh, the uh, memorandum of understanding, you know, this is what it is that we're going to do. I always like to throw in something special. I always like to throw in something unexpected, something that they didn't see coming. So it, it really ratchets that thing up to another level. Who else we got? We got Jerry Crocker. Uh, we got Douglas Thorell. I think I got, uh, wait, I think I got, why is this doing this? I don't want to bring the camera in here. All right, I'm not working it right. I, I don't know what's going on. Uh, I'm doing my best. I think my finger's too big. I'm not really sure. Okay, well, let's, let's move on. Um, we talked about massive work ethic. If you think that 10 sales calls is a lot for the day for you to go out and do that, then try doing a hundred, okay? Make it a goal that, 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 that just to go nuts if, if that's your thing. If you think that um, uh, calling somebody to put a smile on their face is something that's gonna make you feel good and make them feel good, that's great. Then call 10 people. You know, I'm talking about pushing the envelope beyond your comfort zone. I'm talking about step up and do something that's above and beyond what you normally do. Um, uh, whether it's, you know, the way you drive to work, uh, leave a half an hour early and take a tour and drive someplace else. Do something different. You cannot get the same result if you continue to do different things. So you gotta push that envelope. You gotta get out there and you gotta be a badass for the day. That's what I'm talking about. Liz says, for sure, great advice. We gotta keep going. It's all about the relationship, says Rick White. Of course it is. Um, 
But it's the relationship to yourself. It's what you expect of yourself on a daily basis is that you can't expect that low mediocrity because the rest of the world, much of the rest of the world is living in mediocrity and they expect that that's okay. And that's not. That's not okay to live a life of mediocrity. Um, you got one life and, you know, as we know, as we may know, you might get another one or a couple more. I'm not really sure exactly how that works. Um, uh, I'm not necessarily uh, opposed to the idea of reincarnation. I, I wouldn't mind coming back as a, a, a dolphin or something. You know, that could be kind of cool. I don't know. But in this life, knowing that this is what I get and knowing that it could end at any time, is I'm not going to waste it doing the things I don't want to do. And I'm not talking about paying bills or, or that kind of stuff. I'm talking about um, uh, making a decision to incorporate what you love into your life and then taking action on that and believing that you can do that, okay? And we're talking today about keeping your word, and that's an aspect. It's a very, very, very important aspect of business and relationships is that if you tell somebody that you're going to do something, and let me put this on me instead of you guys. If I tell someone that I'm going to do something, that I'm going to go out of my way, I'm going to do everything I can to ensure that that happens. Otherwise, I'm not going to lock myself into it because uh, I can't, I'm not going to promise something and not fulfill on that promise if there's, if there's something floating out there that can't happen. And at the same time, you got to question the people that you're working with. Now, I personally have had experiences with partners in my businesses and my past businesses um, where uh, they weren't the necessarily the most ethical people in the world. And that got revealed uh, as we evolved. You know, everybody um, uh, is all excited about doing things when you first start a business. And then when it comes down to the money later on, you know, when you start making money and start things start moving along, um, suddenly it's okay to do certain things um, that kind of push the envelope or kind of, I'll just set this aside for myself, you know. And, and there's certain ethics that... that um, people consider to be okay. And it's not okay, people. It's not okay. Uh, it's important to keep your word and be authentic and to, to do what you say and to be honest. Uh, this is not something that I can stress enough. And if I had a big graphic that said, just be honest, I'd put it right here. But can you guys close your eyes and visualize that for a second? Okay, mine's, mine's in red. You know, whatever, however you visualize, that's important. We want to exercise that creative visualization. Good morning, Cheryl. Thanks for joining us. And uh, today is Art Talk episode eight. I am Fireball. I am your host, hanging out with you today. I got a big day today. I'm going up to Johnny Martinez. We're going to be pinstriping the rest of that Von Dutch, that original Von Dutch bike. We're doing that today. That's going to be on the next vlog. It's going to be bitching. It's going to be badass. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to see today's vlog, that got posted earlier. You can go to fireballtim.com or you can go to our YouTube channel, Fireball Tim, and you can see some vintage trucks that we shot for a Hidden Hills magazine photo shoot, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's move on. Um, what do I got here? Uh, I can't even read my own writing because I don't have my glasses. Hold on a second. Where'd I put them? I don't know. I'll squint. What did I write here? Uh... <sighs> We talked earlier about putting out more than you're used to putting out. I'm talking about a crazy amount. I'm not talking about put a little more out there. I'm talking about putting an epic amount. I'm talking about push it as hard as you can. Uh, what do you, dealing with rotten customers, I tend to soak up people's energy and it can be it can affect. Yeah, that's right. Uh, that's, that's tough, Liz, because we do get affected. Anybody who says they're not affected by an a-hole in their in their world somehow, whether it's a customer or whether it's a, um, uh, uh, whether it's a, a business associate, things like that. But try looking at it from this standpoint is that, you know, if you, if you read the, the book, I think it was in the secret that they mentioned per, personal emotional trainers is that those people are there to, to help you, to, to, to help you be on point. They're your instructors. Anytime an a-hole uh, comes into your life is that they're trying to teach you something and they don't even know it. I feel bad for them. They don't even know it. They're actually, they're teaching you how not to be. And uh, if you soak up their energy and you say that, that I do that, 
it, th those words are very important because words do become flesh. So you have to figure out a different way to approach that. You've got to shift your perspective and be able to say that, thank God for those guys. I'm, I'm happy for a-hole customers that come in. I appreciate them. I, I want to see those guys because when I do see those guys, it reminds me to be better and to step up. And as a result of dealing with those a-holes, I, I, my life is better because of them. So I'm, I'm really glad we get lots of them because they're, they're what we call the butchers, you know, the butchers in life. And uh, sometimes those butchers are outside of us and they're walking around, around the planet. Uh, and sometimes it's the thoughts inside our head. We got our own little individual butchers that are happening. And uh, being aware and keeping your word is a way to be able to stay present and stay focused and be conscious because we are, as I mentioned before in a previous art talk, we are going from ignorance over here, ignorance, I don't know what's going on, I don't know what's happening, to awareness. Well, let me tell you, this is the way you got to do things and everything will be A-OK, -okay, right? That's how it works. Going from ignorance all the way over here to awareness. And awareness is that we make conscious choices about what we want in our lives. Do I want to argue with this person? Because if I argue with this person, then what's going to be the consequence? Uh, teenagers don't really think about that. They just kind of do stuff, right? They do stuff. That's why we want to send them all to an island somewhere, right? Or we, it's hard to deal with teenagers. It's hard to deal with me. It's hard to deal with, I'm sure it was hard to deal with you as a teenager. Uh, you know, I feel sorry for your parents because your parents probably had to deal with you and you were probably tough, right? And, and that's the way teenagers are because it, the, the system is such that teenagers are little mini a-holes and, uh, uh, and you got to boot them out. You got to, you know, you got to get rid of them somehow mentally or, or physically. And that's how they start life. That's how, that's how the system works. That's what it's supposed to, supposed to do is the bird's got to leave the nest. You know, it's got to figure out its life and you can help them and stuff like that. Um, but uh, uh, back to the crazy amount of work. Good morning, Chuck. Uh, Liz says, changing your perspective. Yes, um, uh, Rick says, love you, Liz. Well, we got a little relationship going on. Very nice. Excellent. Uh, lots of love in the room right now. Everywhere. Everywhere. Uh, great advice. Thank you, Mark. Uh, you guys are sharing stuff. That's what I was hoping for. Uh, and once again, if you're getting some good stuff out of Art Talk today or any other day, please share it. Please share it on Facebook and Instagram, anywhere that you guys can feel that you have friends that are going through something difficult that they can watch this and it, it might help them. It certainly can't hurt. Can't hurt. You know, that kind of thing. Hold on. Okay. Um, I'm going to wrap this up a little bit today because I do have to get going. There's a lot of stuff going on today. As I mentioned, I'm going to Johnny Martinez. Uh, Johnny, I'm not sure if you're watching uh, right now, but I'm heading to your, your pad Going to be going up to the Ventura area, driving the 2019 Chevy Bolt with 253 mile charge. I hope I got it. It's plugged in. I hope I get that much because I'm going to need it. Uh, and um, I did mention the Shark Book example, uh, uh, so I don't need to go over that. And once again, uh, forgive me, but I don't have my glasses on, so you know that's kind of what happens. You turn turn 53. I'm going to be 54 April 3rd in a month. Yeah, party time. Um, Let's see, uh, keeping your word, keeping your word. That was the subject for today. So uh, get out there today, guys. Get out there today, uh, do what you got to do, but do your best to exercise that conscientious muscle. Uh, that means try to stay aware, try to bring yourself back centered, stay aware uh, for the day today and, uh, and figure out a way to give. How can you help someone else by what it is that you do by your passion, your excitement, your energy. What can you do today? Stop thinking about yourself, thinking about your problems, and, and get out there and be effective uh, in some way that you can give, okay? That's the assignment for today. Keep your word, honesty, authenticity. Uh, keep it real. Keep it positive. I love you guys, and uh, I appreciate everything that you're doing. Uh, I, I know that I don't have necessarily have a face to you guys, but I do love you guys. I, I want you to get out there and make a difference for yourselves and for other people, okay? We'll talk to you soon, and uh, we still got another Art Talk coming. It's Today's only Thursday. One tomorrow. Okay, guys, talk to you soon.